Despite not being the closest galaxy to the Milky Way, Andromeda can be considered the largest nearby galaxy because we have some smaller satellite galaxies in our vicinity. In the end, Andromeda is engaged in a gravitational battle with our galaxy in a fusion process that will create a gigantic galaxy in the next 5 billion years. However, we always understood that this is something that will take a long time and we won't even see it in the next generations. But what if I tell you that astronomers have found evidence that this collision is already happening? In today's video, we will understand how Andromeda and the Milky Way may have already initiated the fusion. Galaxies are considered islands of stars in the universe, and even the smallest ones still have a vast stellar population. For example, some of the satellite galaxies of the Milky Way can contain millions of stars. But when we consider larger objects like the Milky Way and Andromeda, the number grows to billions or trillions of stars. It's hard to imagine what one trillion stars can represent, it's a difficult concept for our minds. However, this number corresponds to the stellar population of Andromeda, while our galaxy has an estimated 400 billion stars in the highest estimates. When these two giants meet, they will form a single gigantic galaxy, and new stars will be formed in the process as gas clouds merge. The entire process is incredibly fascinating, and it becomes even more impressive when we can document several of these mergers happening in distant galaxies, some on the verge of colliding, others in the process of collision, and some that have already collided and are so advanced in the process that the old shape of the galaxies is no longer visible. We can conclude that this type of event is really common throughout the universe. However, studying its effects on the mass of large nebulae and the stars that compose these galaxies is not easy. The process of galactic fusion can take millions or even billions of years to occur, and it is very slow. The collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way is expected to begin advancing in 5 billion years. But what people often overlook is that gravity will become relentless when the objects become closer than they are today causing the galaxies to contort in an incredible gravitational dance. Many people imagine that galaxy collisions are catastrophic events, similar to the collision of asteroids with planets, involving stars, planets, and everything in a chaotic scenario of destruction. But in reality, the distances between stars are immense, and there won't be direct collisions involving them. However, we can't say the same for the immense gas clouds with hundreds of light years in diameter. It is certain that nebulae collisions are more common than star collisions. This will ultimately lead to an overall increase in the density of the galaxy, and new stars will be formed through the agglomeration of gas. This is one of the most significant events in the collision of two galaxies, in addition to the overall structural changes that occur. It's like a cosmic fireworks show in the form of star birth. The entire galaxy will light up until the collision is complete. By observing these fusion stages separately, astronomers can simulate how gravity acts over time and get an idea of what will happen millions of years from now through computer calculations. But how do we know that the collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way has already begun? Here is where things get interesting. The images we have seen so far only consider the matter concentrated in the galactic disk. However, a galaxy can be made up of something even larger, known as the halo. Astronomers assume that it is not possible to precisely measure the size of the halo surrounding the Milky Way, but we can assume that it is not different from the halo found in Andromeda since our galaxy seems to be proportionally immense. The galactic halo is composed of gas, intergalactic space, and lost stars beyond the main disk. Surprisingly, this halo can measure millions of light years in diameter. To better understand this concept, let's imagine Earth's atmosphere. The densest part of the atmosphere is near sea level, but NASA considers the end of air to be around 100 kilometers in altitude. However, this is far from being the actual end of the atmosphere. As we ascend higher, the atmosphere becomes less dense, with fewer particles. 
The same principle applies to galaxies. As we move away from the center, matter becomes less dense, forming galactic halos that extend beyond the visible main components. Astronomers have measured the size of Andromeda's halo by observing how it absorbs light from distant quasars. They were surprised to discover that Andromeda's halo extends much farther than its visible limits. In fact, Andromeda's halo extends an impressive 1.3 million light years in our direction, which is about half the distance of 2 million light years that the main matter of Andromeda is from our galaxy. This means that the halos of Andromeda and the Milky Way are already touching. Considering that the Milky Way likely has a similar and proportionally large halo, it can be said that the collision of Andromeda and the Milky Way has technically begun, with the gas clouds in the intergalactic space already interacting at a point about 1 million light years away from Earth. However, when it comes to the actual collision involving the galactic disks, we will have to wait billions of years for any noticeable differences to occur. Especially considering that Andromeda is approaching the Milky Way at a rate of 110 kilometers per second. The truth is that galactic collisions are fascinating, and if there are any future beings in the distant future, they will witness a completely transformed night sky. So, what name would you give to this new giant galaxy that will emerge after the collision of Andromeda and the Milky Way? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like as it is greatly appreciated. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, I invite you to click the subscribe button below. Until next time.